We're going to do a lighting breakdown, a quick, easy interrogation scene. That's what we're doing today. I got, I got these stickers on here because um, they, they ain't sponsoring me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know it's been a couple weeks. I know I let you down, but it's time to turn that frown upside down. Before we go any further, I should do this in every video and I always forget. My name is Paul. I'm a cinematographer. I make uh, videos for uh, the web, social media, for small businesses. I also make short films. I will link them here or here. I still haven't memorized which side it is, but I'm also going to put it in the description for you. That way you can watch them. You can let me know what you think. And then hopefully that makes me uh, a little bit better at what I do. You know what I'm saying? Now that we've got that covered, welcome. Welcome back. Whichever one applies to you. Interrogation. Boom, boom, boom. So Ariel, I don't know his character's name. Um, I don't know what happened. So let's make up a story real quick. The uh, Juan Miguel Alfredo Lopez Santiago is being interrogated by the police. You know what I'm saying? Because he did something that wasn't nice. So um, he's in a situation where he's in a room. He's at this table and um, it's a little bit dark. And, but they got this hot light on him because they're trying to make him sweat, you know, because it, uh, and, and all these interrogation scenes, they try to make you sweat because, you know, apparently if you sweating, then you snitching, you know, and I don't want to get into a conversation about snitching. But, but anyways, so look, you know what? Let's just play the scene for you. Look, I appreciate everything you guys did to help me, okay? But I told you I don't know anything, man. I've got a daughter, man. Okay? And she means everything to me. She's, she's all I got. And I'm all she has. I would never do anything to jeopardize you guys taking her away from me. Okay, I didn't shoot anybody and I don't know who shot. Now can I please get the out of here? He's going to snitch. You know what I mean? Uh, you can tell. He was like, I just want to get home to my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me stop because I would I, I would be like, hey, he did it. So I can get home. I got kids too. Let's break it down. This is what we did. Boom. We shot this on the uh, red Komodo. We used the Sigma 1835. I put an eighth black pro mist filter on it. We used the 300D, as you can see. <laughs> Let me see that rhyme. And we put it over his head to give him that like overhead thing. But it also kind of allowed me to work in the space that was a little bit tighter and, and, and keep the light on him and keep the background a little bit darker. But, you know, it kind of emulates what, what you would see in these interrogation scenes, overhead lighting, this dark room, whatnot. And we added this little back hard light here, which is a uh, Aperture 120D. And I put a Fresnel mount on there. And I beamed it in and it hit his shoulder in the back of his neck. You know what I'm saying? Why? No reason. Um, you can barely tell, to be honest. It, it kind of like gave him a little outline on his uh, shoulder there and, and, and kind of gave him a little bit of something right here. Um, I like the way it looked when we did it. So sometimes sometimes you just got to hold on. to Look, pole lights coming to get us. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't do it. I'm trying to get home to my daughter. Hopefully you heard those sirens because if you didn't, then I just looked down. But anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, that hard light in the back. Well, I wanted to do, do it with a hard light the whole time, but but uh, Ariel wanted this other look. And that's something to keep in mind. It's like, it doesn't matter what you want sometimes as a cinematographer, you got to give the people what they want, you know? And it still looked good. It's just, you know, that's what, hey, that's what he wanted. That's what we did. So we gave him that softer top light. Uh, he wanted to look beautiful. And then, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna throw in a little hard light somewhere. So I threw it in the back, boom, done. I got this gray lamp. It's just sitting in the studio. So I took this B7C, that, that light bulb that Aperture makes. Um, at this point, Aperture, <laughs> hit your boy up because I'm using all your stuff. You know what I'm saying? B7C, I put it in that lamp, you know, and then boom, we shot it at his face. Why? Because he needed an eye light, right? His eyes were dark. He had raccoon eyes. You couldn't see his eyeballs. That could be kind of dope, I guess, depending on the scenario. But he wanted this for his... Uh, his reel on top of uh, the other project that he's working on. So you needed to see his face. And 
this was a way for me to do it quickly. Like I said, I got a short film that I'm shooting this weekend. Uh, he and I only had a short time in my studio and we needed to get in and out. So we just put that on there. It gave him the light that we needed on his face so that you can see what's going on. And then that was it. Uh, with the time that we had, this is what we did. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I think you could use it. I think I could use it. And it's real simple. Do you need these expensive lights? No. Do you need, and these aren't really that expensive, by the way, compared to some of the lights that you could be buying. But um, do you need these kind of lights? No. Can you do it with, with any light that you have? Of course. You know what I mean? Just find some lights. Just make sure that you're lighting your scenes because that's what's going to kind of help make your stuff stand out. All right. All right. I think that wraps it up. I think uh, I think Juan Miguel Lopez San Sanchez Morales Santiago ended up telling on his homie or whatever. He thought he was going to go home and see his kids, but they kept him anyway. You know what I mean? So um, I should teach you guys something. Um, I don't know what it teaches you. I don't know. It's a crazy climate right now, so I got to be careful what I say. Um, but look, like, subscribe comment share any of that stuff uh why maybe it helps somebody out i don't know i'll be um i'll come up with a plan so that we could do this more often so um that being said i think i'm done you know um i'm not i'm not monetized i just remember that since that's the case you know <laughs> this is how we gonna end it you gotta do that old that old man dance you know?